Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you how to get started on the simple version of the phone messages solution. So I'm going to go into Internet Explorer here and find the HQ site. And uh, this is the simple solution. There are better ways of doing this if you want to do it enterprise ready, and I'm going to show that in another set of demonstrations. But now I'm going to do the simple solution. So I'm simply going to add an app to this site and that's going to be built on the custom list template which of course is the simplest one it only has a title by default so i'm going to do that and that's of course going to store several phone messages that's why i'm using the plural uh, as in any case when i'm adding a new app i'm going to remove it out of uh, recent so that it sticks sometimes we get this message but um, it still gets saved so, so that works then i'm going to go into the list settings and enable versioning I do that on all my lists. I think that's a very good feature to have. And I also like this feature. I go into advanced settings and add the launch forms in a dialogue. That's how it was in SharePoint 2010. And I kind of like that. So if I press new um, item here, I get this pop-up dialogue. And I think that looks nice. So that's a matter of preference, of course. Now I'm going to start adding some columns, but first of all, before doing that, I'm actually going to rename the title column. You can hide the title column if you really want to, but I recommend not doing that. I recommend reusing it. So I'm going to reuse this title for the phone number because there's always going to be a phone number, right? So that's the phone number there. I'm going to click on OK there, and then I'm going to add more column. I'm going to create a who called column, single line of text. I can add a description just to make it super clear. It's always a good idea to be extra instructive there and use that description field. And then we're going to add another column who's being called. And I'm going to do that to a personal group field. And again, a description. And then I'm finally going to create the column returned, which is going to be a yes, no field. And important here, is of course set the default value to no. All right, so now we have all the information that we need to create a new phone message. So we have all the fields that we need and uh, now we can start using this list. And that's what I'm gonna do in my next demonstration, but this showed you the simple way of creating a new app for storing phone messages in Office 365 on SharePoint 2013. Thank you for watching.